So I want to jump to, to Shirley because um, she and I started working on a, a project like two years ago when she called me and said, I have this project. <laughs> I think it's going to shoot in about 15 countries, but I don't know where yet. Um, the project is called um, Point Break, and it's a reboot of the 1991 surfer movie that I think shot in like three locations, I think Hawaii, California, and is I think that, Utah. Yeah. But mm -hmm. maybe you could talk about that project and what you and I went through in terms of Shh. figuring out where to go, and once we were there, what kind of issues we dealt with. Sure. Well, first of all, I want to thank you yet again for all of your help <laughs> with being my unofficial advisor, or the company's unofficial advisor. Uh, Point Break like I like to call it point break the attorneys because <laughs> it's just taken us so long to put our head around where this was going to shoot, what was going to work creatively and fiscally, and it's a reboot of the 91 film and it's based in the world of extreme sports. And the the conceit of the movie is that we have experts in all extreme sports in their respective countries. So we have rock climbers in Venezuela, wingsuiters in Switzerland, uh, snowboarders in Italy and France, and sorry, Italy and Switzerland, and we have uh, surfers in Hawaii and Tahiti. Uh, that's just, and then we have some motorcycle gags too. But it was really finding out like what was the secret sauce and mm -hmm. how can we make this movie be a viable movie and still you know, help the territories that we're in, make it work creatively, and also get some kind of rebate. So we decided to have Germany specifically work with Babelsberg, who were great, as the center, and then just go on from there to hopscotch different countries. So it was a patchwork of different countries, uh, country incentives, regional incentives. And to your point, Deborah, those regional uh, grants are usually often done with a handshake at right. the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And you can never really be sure about those, but we had to make certain that the, the countries, you know, main, like the DFFF in Germany was going to be fine. We also shot in Italy, and everybody had a lot to say about their system. And they've revamped a lot of it, including the VAT, which helped immeasurably. Did you end up doing the Italian incentive as well? Yes. You did. Great. Yeah, absolutely. And then also have regionals in you as well. in Italy. And in terms of Italy, I, I hear this a lot, and I was just in Cannes, and, and so many people sort of say, I went to Italy, I never got my money back, and it, the incentive doesn't work. And the reality is that the incentive does work. It does. The, the, the key to the incentive truly is to, is to partner with the right Italian co-producer, mm -hmm. because what happens is that the money will ultimately come back from the government, but that, that does take time. It's just a matter of how business is in Italy. But if you partner with the right co-producer and they have their own income tax and their own VAT, you can get the money back quicker by taking these credits as an offset to their tax liability and exactly. the money comes back quicker. So that's an important thing to know about Italy. The incentive is still is there. It still works. In fact, I just read it got re-upped again just recently. So yeah. again, maybe the, the point here is that you know don't listen to every producer who says they haven't gotten their money back and the incentive doesn't work. I remember years ago, I think people today still say Michigan doesn't have an incentive mm -hmm. because rules change and everyone just jumped to the inclusion. The incentive is gone. So again, it's really important to make sure you do your due diligence and reach out to producers who happen to have been in a location where you're thinking about going and learn from them. And, most, and most recently, too. As you said, some of the stories are old, and that's what we were finding, too. People were saying that, Italy, you'll never get your money back, but we did partner up with the right person. And a lot of this was because it was such a complicated show and I think we've actually shot in more countries than Bond, uh, regular Bond movie. Was it 10 countries and four states? 10 countries and four states. Wow. And, and it was really intricate in terms of finding the right production service companies, finding the right accountants who could deal with all the different incentives, too. Because people were used to multi-currencies, but then we also had to chase, you know, we had to track w where the different currencies were going. It wasn't just the euro. It was also the Canadian dollar because we were posting and doing visual effects in Canada as well. So I think in order to do this, you had to be a producer and have an MBA. <laughs> <laughs> so was there any particular country, whether it was Mexico or Austria, that did you learned something that you might want to share with the audience in terms of if you're going to this country, be aware of? Be aware of your partner. Okay. 
just really do your research and make sure that you have a great accountant who can handle the complexity of the show. That was the big learning for us. And do not shoot in 10 countries and four states. <laughs>